Sins committed in the mind are sins. The Bible states that sins committed in our minds are also sins. God's mind is one of goodness, kindness, and virtue, while the human mind is an evil mind of sin. Since the human mind is a possessive mind, it copies the world and all that happens in the world to make it its own individual mind. Inside this self-made mind, man forms his conceptions and habits. This is sin. In other words, thinking something is right when it is consistent with one's perspective, while considering it to be wrong when it is not. Judging something to be bad or good, such minds are delusions, and delusions beget more delusions, which form one's self. This is what sin is. Even twins born on the same day at the same time have different minds. Therefore, naturally parents, siblings, spouses, and children all have different minds from each other. This is the reason behind all conflicts. Even in politics, conflicts happen because of different mindsets. When the possessive human mind is discarded, God remains. The mind of God is the place beyond sin. There are no sins in God's mind because human preconceptions and habits do not exist there. Sins exist in the human mind because it is the mind of possession. The mind of God is absent of the mind of possession, and therefore it has not possessed any minds. This is why God's mind is free of sin. In the Buddhist scriptures, there is a saying that everything is made in the mind. This means man's delusions produce tens of thousands of different minds, while God's mind creates everything in heaven and earth by the balance and harmony of heaven and earth.